solving a problem using the test for similar triangles and the tests are side angle side or side 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 here is the problem you are given this diagram which is the quadrilateral cd um cdef with two diagonals intersecting at t then you are given the side ef ft et tc uh, td and dc are given right but one thing i want to let you know here is each time we have the quadrilateral and it, the diagonals are drawn where they intersected t there are two pairs of equal angles that means this angle is equal to this one vertically opposite this angle is equal to this one vertically opposite it's always like that so it's important information that each time you see a quad diagonal drawn think of the vertically opposite angles before you go anywhere they don't come given but they are always there and they are always vertically opposite right now as such when we say now given information we are talking of the diagonals and that interpretation I've already said is coming from the fact that we know these are the diagonals of the, what, the, the quadrilateral. And again, I left out to mention that when the diagonals are drawn, the triangles you observe, there should be eight of them. Eight triangles are formed. Any quadrilateral join their diagonals eight triangles are formed it's also important then you are given some measurements of segments right or as you can see all these measurements are given therefore with those given the given measures of different segments by just proportion that means they are you can establish proportion within certain or between certain um, sides, right? So you then think in terms of similar triangles, so that at the end of the day, if you identify similar triangles and show that they are similar, you know that corresponding angles are equal. And look at the problem. We wanted to show that two angles are equal, and these angles are EFD. That is this angle right and this angle that is ecd they are equal that is what we wanted to show but the fact that now we are guided by the fact that there are some measurement of size then we should think of proportion once you think of proportion then we go on to think of similarity of triangle of course i'm not talking of congruence because you know that uh, all congruent triangles are similar at times, again, if the need arises that you can show congruence, then it's still fine because at the end you can then talk of corresponding angles being equal. Right? So, to show that um, angle EFD, that is EFD, is equal to angle ECD, this one. Right, we pick two triangles containing these two angles and prove that the triangles are similar. Right, B wise, choose triangles with a common angle for all sides known in order to use either the test side angle side or side side side. The idea of common angle comes from the fact that already I've said on the intersection of the two diagonals, vertically opposite angles are there. So in your choosing, you have to be particular about that, right? And when you are choosing those, you know that you are going to use the side angle side, right? So with that, we have chosen um, 
the triangles, two triangles, E, F, T, and T, D, C, right? The angle at F is the one we are saying is equal to angle at C. And they are contained in different triangles. And again, as you can see, the T is the intersection, so that this angle is equal to this. It doesn't come given, but always notice that, right? So if this is what we are going to work with, then obviously um, we need to make sure that of the chosen two triangles, we try to make sure we establish the corresponding size because it doesn't come easily given. Although you can make your guesses, but at times you might miss, right? You arrange the size of triangle ETF, ETF. Five is the smallest, then seven, then nine, right? You do the same to uh, the other triangle CDT. And this um, arranging you are doing, you simply want to establish the corresponding size. So that as you name uh, your triangle, the lettering will be informed by this arrangement, right? So as such, we are saying using the test side angle side or side side side, we show that triangle ETF. Now I'm saying ETF. That means the first side ET, which is seven, according to um, the arrange the side A, seven correspond to 14. So I'll have also to have the first position occupied by the side whose measure is 14, and that side is DT, right? This is why ET corresponded to DT, and it's true seven and 14. Then if you go further to try to check whether the audio is correct, TF, right? In the diagram, TF is five, and five corresponded to 10. What is 10? TC. So TF corresponds to TC. So the lettering is just fine, and it's informed by this arrangement that is important in similarity of triangles, even in congruent corresponding sides have to be identified. And the way the letters are written, that's the way you should follow as you try to identify corresponding sides. Right, now using the side angle sides to show that uh, the two triangles we have chosen are, are similar, right? We need to find, um, a pair of sides that are in proportion, then an angle contained, right? So the first thing is you identify that common angle that come within, that is the vertically opposite one. That is this angle is equal to this one, right? Then from there, we go on to the corresponding side, we have ET, because now here, let me write something. The fact that now we have identified um, the angle, which we are saying is equal. This is the angle which we are saying is equal to this one because they are vertically opposite. Then we are now forced to establish this is the uh, size of the angle in this triangle that contains that green one then the other is this, these are the sides. So we need to establish now the ratio between the corresponding side or the proportion of the corresponding side, right? Those are marked in blue. So as such, this is why we are looking for ET first, over what? Over TD, right? This part. Then we put the measurement. Now we are going to the other. We are through with ET and TD. So we should go then to um, FT or TF with regard to TC, right? Because that's the other side. So TF, TC is equal to five over 10, which is also half, right? 
then we notice that these ratios are the same, right? Using the transitive property of equality. Then we arrive at that. So now we have the angle contained within the sides which are at a given um, proportion, right? So we can safely conclude that um, cutting this one and this one, which is side angle side, our two um, triangles are similar. But otherwise our main uh, focus is we were trying to show that these two angles are the same, right? So if those two triangles are similar, then the corresponding angles are also similar. And you can check if you want to realize what do you mean by corresponding angles. Check this side, I'm going to mark it red. That's the side opposite the angle marked the C, right? We want to find the side corresponding to DT whether it will be the opposite side to the angle mark the F, right? DT, according to our triangle, DT corresponds to ET. So I should go to ET, my ET is this one. That is ET. And ET is the side which is opposite um, this angle, right? And we have already seen that this one is opposite this angle, right? So those are corresponding sides with corresponding angles. So those angles should be equal. And that is also important when we deal with this um, topic of similarity. So now that we have seen that the two triangles are similar, we can now conclude that um, the angles, um, um, F and C are equal because the triangles where they are contained are similar. So we are through showing that using the side angle side. Now, we use the side side side, and that is the uh, proportion within the or between the three pairs of the um, corresponding sides of the two triangles. So dealing with our own triangles, ET should correspond to DT. That is what is written there. Then you go on TFTC, then EFDC, all the three sides. And you'll be making use of this correct lettering. Otherwise, at the end, you first write the ratio itself before you substitute and you'll be guided by this, right? So that is that. So as you can see, all the um, three ratios are the same. So we can establish proportion between them to mean all the three have this proportion from the transitive property of equality because the first ratio we have seen is a half second, half third, half. Therefore, the left-hand side should also be equal, right? So if that is the case, then we can safely conclude that our two triangles are similar using the side, 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 right? Which is this, right? So if that is the case, then we can conclude that uh, the angles we wanted to show that they are equal, these two angles, they are because they are contained in triangles that are similar. So those are the corresponding angles in those triangles, which are equal. With this, um, we have proved our case.